While most of the rest of the planet was slowly working towards a kind of nice, balanced, natural environment, where all the insane stuff like dinosaurs and so on were left back in prehistory, the Amazon had other ideas. In this incredible dense rainforest, things were spinning in a different direction, and the intensity of the place seems like it has gone to the limit when it comes to producing monsters. The Amazon adventurer and filmmaker Werner Herzog taking a close look at, at what's around us, there, there is some sort of a harmony, it is described the Amazon rainforest as a place where the birds are not singing, but are screaming in pain. And it's not only the birds, the Amazon is crazy and we are going to look at some of its most terrifying inhabitants. From the foot-long centipede to the biggest predator in the rainforest, here's the 15 deadliest monsters of the Amazon. <sighs> Number 15. Amazonian Giant Centipede the Amazonian giant centipede is an absolutely enormous insect that will have those of you who are a little freaked out by creepy crawlies running to hide under the bed covers. Not only are they big, measuring around 12 inches in length, they are also known for their aggressive nature and powerful venom. These centipedes are real hunters and will take on anything they think they can get a shot at. And on top of that, have displayed high intelligence by developing a variety of independent techniques for the different animals they hunt. One creature they enjoy hunting is bats, and they sneak up cave walls out of the bat's sonar range before using their hinge legs to swing from the ceiling of the cave and then sink the venom into the bat before it knows what is happening. They will bite humans too if they feel like it, and although the venom is not likely fatal, it can have some serious effects, such as severe pain, fatigue, chills, and swelling. They come in red, yellow, brown, and black, usually with other bright markings to warn off anything that is stupid enough to try and mess with one of these deadly insects. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Black Cayman the black caiman is a member of the alligator family, and it is also the number one biggest predator in the entire Amazon ecosystem. They live in the flooded savannas around the Amazon River Basin, and these are some serious monsters. They can grow to 17 feet and weigh as much as 1,000 pounds. In spite of their size, caimans are known to be less aggressive than some other alligator and crocodile species. That doesn't mean that you should go and try to pet one if you see a caiman, because if they feel threatened or hungry, Hungry, they have the power to tear a human being to pieces. And while attacks on humans are quite rare, there have been plenty of fatal caiman attacks over the years. Many alligator and crocodile species are known for their fearless natures, and it's no wonder, with a huge mouthful of teeth and a heavy armored body. These are nightmare hunters, and they have dark skin, hang out in dark water shaded by dark woods. They have excellent night vision, and for a lot of prey, by the time they know the caiman is even there, it is far too late. They're already on their way to becoming dinner. Number 13. Red-Bellied Piranha the red-bellied piranha is one of the most infamous and fearless fish in the world. Reports from early explorations told of a small fish with razor-sharp teeth and a shoal, of which could strip a cow to the bone in a matter of minutes. The piranha is more of a scavenger, and this fish, which does indeed have a red belly, also likes to nip chunks out of the tails of much larger fish, which is pretty badass. The piranha usually operates in a school of around 20 fish, and each individual measures around 12 inches, weighing in about 4 pounds. They have a recognizable huge forehead, beneath which are the powerful muscles that operate the short jaw, with the iconic overbite and razor-sharp triangular teeth. The triangular form allows them to interlock neatly with the upper set, 
This makes the piranha capable of extremely powerful bites and also their famous shearing of flesh ability. This bite is in fact one of the strongest bites of any vertebrate, relative to body size. Attacks on humans are quite common, and warning signs are posted where piranhas are known to swim. Most attacks result only in minor to moderate injuries, but children can be vulnerable, and deaths have occurred including that of an 18-year-old man in 2011, who was eaten by piranhas in Brazil. Whether the myths about whether a red-bellied piranha can skeletonize the body of a human or a cow in seconds are true or not is yet to be seen. But these are some deadly fish, whatever the case. Number 12. Green Anaconda the green anaconda is a snake in the boa family, and it is one of the longest snakes in the world, along with being the heaviest. That's due to their incredible thickness, with a girth of more than one foot being pretty common. The anacondas spend a lot of its time in the water, and is capable of eating huge prey items, such as jaguar and caiman, in some circumstances. Boas are constrictor snakes, which means that instead of attacking with bites or venom, they wrap themselves around their prey, coiling tighter each time time the victim breathes out. This actually causes cardiac arrest rather than death by crushing or asphyxiation, as is commonly believed. The anaconda has incredibly sensitive skin and can sense even the faintest electrical pulses of the heart, continuing to squeeze until it is sure the prey is dead. Then it expands its head and begins to swallow the prey whole. You definitely want to make double sure it's dead if you're going to do this. Afterwards, the digestive process begins, which can take months for a really large meal. They tend to stay away from humans, but there are reported cases of people being killed and eaten by these massive super snakes. Number 11. Mata Mata Turtle the Mata Mata turtle is one of the Amazon's largest freshwater turtle species, and it has some very interesting special features. First up, it has an extremely long neck, and its neck is in fact even longer than its backbone. Then it also has its camouflage technique. It will lie on the bottom of a stream, blending into the vegetation, while stretching the huge neck out and opening its mouth, creating a vacuum. When a fish comes by, it is sucked into the Mata Mata's mouth and is swallowed whole, as this turtle has no means of chewing. These turtles also practice snorkeling, using their massive neck to poke above the water and grab some air, without having to give up their camouflaged position. The Mata Mata is known as a side neck turtle, since unlike most turtles, it cannot withdraw its head into its shell. That neck is just way too long, so it folds its head around to the side for a little extra protection when necessary. They live around 75 years and spend their time basically lying at the bottom of streams with their mouths open waiting for fish, which means that this might not be the most exciting pet you will ever own. Number 10. Payara the piranha might be the superstar fish of the Amazon, but the payara deserves just as much attention as this is one strange fish. It is also known as the saber-toothed tiger fish and the water wolf. Due to the two enormous fangs it has in its mouth, it is a predatory carnivore unlike the piranha, which is actually an omnivore scavenger. The payara is also a form of dog-tooth tetra, and they use those huge fangs to impale their prey, which is mostly smaller fish. They can grow as big as 3.8 in length, and weigh up to 40 pounds. Aside from those massive fangs, they also have a regular set of sharp and spiky dagger-like teeth in their gums. The fangs themselves grow to around 6 inches or more in length, and the fish has special holes in its upper jaw which house them. They are built for powerful, speedy swimming in chopping waters, and so have caudal fins, which resemble a fan, which gives them extra speed and stability in those waters. In spite of this fearsome nature, they are quite popular as aquarium fish in certain large aquariums. Number 9. Electric Eel the electric eel is one of the craziest species of any kind in the entire world, and is basically a fish with superpowers. And it is a fish, not an eel. It's a kinda knife fish which is a relative of catfish. The average size of an electric eel is around 7 to 8 feet in length, and they weigh in at around 45 pounds. 
but it is their amazing electrical power that sets them apart and makes them incredibly deadly. The organs which produce electricity in its body take up 80% of the space there, and this together makes around 6,000 specialized cells known as electrocytes. There are three pairs of electric organs, meaning that the electric eel can actually generate both low voltage and high voltage electricity. The low voltage is used for navigation and also for taking control of the nervous system of their prey, maneuvering it where they want them. But the high voltage shock can be used for both attack and defense and generates up to 600 volts, which is five times more than the average US wall socket and enough to kill a horse. They live in shallow and muddy water and they actually breathe atmospheric air, meaning that they have to surface every 10 minutes or so. Number 8. Kandiru the Kandiru is also known as the vampire fish, and it's actually a kind of freshwater catfish that lives in the Amazon basin. It will be familiar to people living in the countries of Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. Although possibly mostly familiar with their worst nightmares, this is the fish that likes to swim up a stream of urine and into the melurethra. Thought that was an urban legend, did ya? Well, it's not, and you should definitely not ever pee into the Amazon River. Back in 1997, a 23-year-old Brazilian had to undergo two hours of surgery on his member to remove one of these fish after it jumped right up there as he peed in the river. Sounds extremely unpleasant. My advice is to just pee against a tree like all the other mammals do. A lot safer while this crazy fish is around. Number 7. Bull Shark Bull sharks are called bull sharks for a reason, and that is because they are considered to be among the most aggressive sharks, and one large shark species which is not afraid of humans. Therefore, many believe the bull shark to be the most dangerous of all. And what's more, they are not bothered by brackish or even fresh water, which is why you can often find bull sharks in the Amazon River. Also, similar to a bull, this shark likes to butt its prey to stun it before eating. They are stocky and muscular sharks measuring as much as 13 feet, and the females are quite a lot larger than the males. They are part of the same family as tiger sharks and white sharks, and like their cousins, they possess a huge number of razor-sharp teeth, which sits in rows which the shark can rotate. Also, the bull shark has by far the strongest bite force of any shark, measuring 1,300 psi. And this shark is unique in the fact it is able to try out that bite in both sea and fresh water due to having special kidneys which detect changes in water salinity and work differently depending on whether the shark is in river or at sea. Another unusual feature of bull sharks is that they have live births, like mammals, and the sharks are already two feet long at birth. Once born, a bull shark can't expect much by the way of parenting though. As soon as they're out, they're on their own. Number 6. South American Rattlesnake there are a lot of snakes in the Amazon, but not many people will know that one of the most dangerous in South America is a close relative of the most dangerous snake in North America, the rattlesnake. The South American rattlesnake lives in the Amazonian savanna and is known to be a pretty aggressive snake that will not hesitate to attack if it feels threatened or provoked. These snakes are pretty common and being highly venomous can pose a serious threat to humans. The symptoms which occur after a South American rattlesnake bite are very different to those caused by the North American rattlesnake, and this is because the South American rattlesnake venom contains neurotoxins which cause a kind of progressive paralysis. Blindness, deafness, drooping of the eyelids, and then total collapse of the neck as though it were broken are common symptoms, and this can be followed by paralysis of the respiratory system, which can lead to death. Otherwise, acute renal failure can also occur, which is usually fatal. There is one subspecies of this rattlesnake which carries a double load of venom, with the second known as white venom. And this adds in massive hemorrhaging of blood just to make things even more enjoyable. Number 5. Sawfish 
the Amazon River has another strange surprise waiting in it. Although you will have to be incredibly lucky to catch sight of one of these, as it is considered critically endangered. It is the large tooth sawfish, and it's a pretty crazy looking fish. They can grow to as large as 25 feet in length, although it is thought that there are very few larger than 6 to 8 feet nowadays, due to the almost total devastation of their numbers in recent years. They have an incredible jumping ability, able to jump more than 15 feet in the air, and scientists think this may be an adaptation, which helps them to move upriver, traversing waterfalls, for example. Otherwise, they spend a lot of time at sea, and have been sighted in many different parts of the world. They have been hunted for the oils in their livers, but also this fish is particularly prone to becoming stuck in fishing nets due to the saw. The saw is also highly valued by human collectors, and this demand has led to the oceans being almost emptied of this particular fish. In fact, this fish is thought to be present in only one-third of its former range, and is almost completely extinct in the Atlantic, with the exception of the Amazon River, where a small population is just about holding on. Number 4. Paku the Paku is a general name which applies to several species of related fish, which are all also related to the piranha. Like the piranha, the Paku is famous for its teeth, but Paku teeth are nothing like the piranhas. Instead of sets of razor sharp teeth, the Paku has a set of teeth which look uncannily like human teeth. The Paku is mainly a plant eater unlike the piranha, so a different set of tools are needed. They are often fished and farmed in South America, and they are also often found in home aquariums, marketed as the vegetarian piranha. They are considered to be surprisingly responsive and tame by fish standards. and a famous paku known as Swish lived for more than 20 years at a restaurant in Seattle's Chinatown and was famous for the dog-like greeting he gave his owner. Still, even if it is a vegetarian piranha, those human teeth in the paku's mouth can give a powerful bite and back in 2013 a paku was caught a long way from home off the coast of Denmark and it allegedly bit the testicles of the fisherman who caught it. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. Number 3 giant leech. The Amazon's giant leech is considered to likely be the largest freshwater leech in the world, and they can grow to 18 inches in length and 4 inches wide. They are a dark gray-brown color, although younger leeches have a stripe on their backs and colorful patches on every third body segment. They are a rare species, and it was believed that they were extinct from the 1890s until the 1970s, when a man named Dr. Roy Sawyer rediscovered some specimens in French Guiana. One of these leeches was given the name Grandma Moses and taken back to the US, where she founded a successful breeding colony at UC Berkeley. When these leeches are young, they will attach themselves to amphibians and begin sucking their blood for sustenance. As they grow older, they will feed off larger animals, such as caiman, anacondas, capybaras, and cattle. They are excellent swimmers and often live under rocks, where they hide out and digest after filling up on a huge meal of blood. Number 2. Giant Otter the giant river otter is the largest member of the weasel family, and these big carnivores can grow to as long as 5'6". Most weasels are solitary, but the giant river otter is an exception, being a highly social animal, and family groups can have as many as 8 members. They are considered to be a pretty chill species, not known for aggression, but sometimes territorial disputes can erupt between rival families. They are active during the day, and the family will work together for everyone's benefit. They are also known for their loud and varied forms of communication, which can relay complex information between individuals. These otters were hunted almost to extinction in the 1950s and 60s, due to a fashion for their velvety pelts. And since then, things have become even worse, as the Amazon has been transformed due to massive destruction of the rainforest. There are likely only a couple of thousand individuals left in the wild, and very few breeding pairs in captivity. Some countries are making efforts to try and preserve the species, with Peru and the three Guianas doing the best 
network. But in Brazil, Bolivia, and Venezuela, things are not looking so good with the otters losing more than 80% of their traditional range. Number 1. Stingrays River stingrays are a kind of freshwater neotropical fish related to sharks and, of course, to other stingrays which live in the ocean. There are many different species of river stingray living all over the world, but the highest diversity of species can be found in the Amazon with the Rio Negro, Tapajos, and Tocantins basins, home to 8 to 10 species each. <laughs> They are recognizable for their circular shape and can measure between 1 foot in diameter up to almost 7 feet depending on the species. They are predators and feed on insects, worms, mollusks, crustaceans, and fish. For defense, they have their famous stingers, and these make the river stingray one of the most feared creatures in the rivers of the Amazon due to the terrible injuries the stinger can cause. They are not an aggressive species, however it is easy to step on one by accident, which may may trigger the self-defense mechanism, and the sting can be incredibly painful. Another problem is that bacterial infections often follow the sting, and these can be even more problematic than the venom itself. Common symptoms include nausea, vomiting, salivation, sweating, respiratory depression, muscle fasciculation, and seizures. For this reason, many natives kill these fish on sight, meaning that many of these species have now become endangered. Would you risk going to the Amazon to see some of these monsters? Which one of these is the biggest monster in the Amazon? Or is it really humans who are the monsters for destroying their habitats? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.